All right, what is going on, you guys? Brian here with a recap video for this week's episode. I believe it was episode number 104 for MLW Fusion. Uh, this was actually my first episode that I actually checked out. Uh, and I have to say I was really impressed by what I saw. Uh, the main event, uh, there was only two matches that happened on this episode. The opening match was Douglas James defeating Septim Septimo Dragon with a Death Valley driver into the corner, followed up by a uh, guillotine submission. So big victory for Douglas James. And then in the main event, it was Mance Warner defeating MJF in an empty arena loser leaves MLW match. And... I thought that that match, being an empty arena match, I thought it was going to be, you know, oh, this, 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 and this. But I actually enjoyed it. So, uh, Mance Warner getting rid of MJF from Major League Wrestling. So, uh, plus a bunch of other stuff happened. Like, uh, before that Mance Warner and MJF match, they were building that, they were building up that, the members of Dynasty, or the other members of Dynasty, MJF's group with Alexander Hammerstone and Richard Holiday, were going to try to take out and get involved in that match and try to take out uh, Mance Warner. However, that didn't happen because Mance Warner had backup in the form of Savio Vega, who helped him out, beat up... Um, Hammerstone and Holiday, when they confronted him, uh, and we're going to tr and had weapons in their hand. However, Savio helped out Mance Warner. They also uh, recapped uh, a lot of different things that have been going on involving Team Filthy and America's Top Team, and that whole business relationship and association. Um, they talked about how. Uh, what the condition of Killer Cross is or was after the attack by King Mo, where he hit him with a baseball bat uh, in the back. And apparently that the doctors have not cleared him and have they don't want him to uh, have no con they don't want have no him that they didn't want they don't want Killer Cross to have contact. With anybody or training uh, for so many days, of course, Killer Cross was signed by WWE, and apparently, in storyline, his Stanford, Connecticut employer uh, does not want that waiver to be signed. So, uh, or something along those lines, that they wanted him to sign a he wanted to sign a waiver. And uh, WWE apparently is against it or something like that. I forget what they had mentioned. But um, they also talked about King Mo's controversial victory over Low Key from last week, which I have to check out. Um, because, like I said, this was my first episode that I actually watched. Um, that I watched. And, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Where. Uh, last week, King Mo defeated Low Key in a battle of who was the knockout king, and that had some controversial uh, a controversial ending that saw members of Team Filthy, uh, Filthy Tom Lawler's group, getting involved in distracting Ross Von Erich, which brought out Marshall. Then uh, Filthy Tom Lawler got involved in the match while the referees were while the referee was distracted with what's going on outside the ring, and hit Low Key, who had a submission on uh, King Mo, and hit him with the uh, with an umbrella and knocked him out. So uh, interesting to see what happens there. Uh, they also gave up a, gave an update on Brian Pillman Jr who had been attacked by Injustice, Myron Reed, J uh, Jordan Oliver, and Cato Brazil. And, and last week, outside of the 
2300 arena on uh I, i'm not even at the i think it's swenson and rittner or swanson and rittner and um they showed the attack of the three two, the three of them beating up brian pillman jr and leaving him laying they mentioned that the police are reviewing the incident and as of right now there is uh there's no uh thing of Brian Pillman pressing Brian Pillman Jr. pressing charges. So um like I said, they had some interviews with the Dynasty. They had an interview with Savio Vega. And then of course the main event saw Mance Warner defeating MJF in a loser leaves MLW empty arena match. Uh the episode I thought was really good. I really enjoyed it being the first time I seen an episode like I said, I'm gonna be ch I'm gonna check out the other episodes leading up to this, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, I would recommend checking out MLW. Um, I've been checking. I had I just checked out the episode today on YouTube, and this was at t during uh, WrestleMania, and a lot of people when I read the comments in the about underneath the uh, the video, I saw a lot of comments saying people were watching this instead of watching WrestleMania or were watching, you know, MLW Fusion instead of WrestleMania. So that's saying something. So, like I said, uh, I would recommend checking out MLW. I enjoyed it, even though this was my first episode. Like I said, I'm going to go back and check out some other episodes from uh, past. From the past in you know the weeks leading up to this episode of MLW Fusion. So with that being said, this has been my MLW Fusion recap for episode 104 of MLW Fusion. As always, I am Brian and thank you for watching.